Obamacare debacle rollout. Now, these ads use the Democrats' own words against them, like this one criticizing West Virginia Congressman Nick Rahal. Think Barack Obama and Nick Rahal are different? Listen to this. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. Rahal said it too. Those who like what they have today will be able to keep. The same broken promise. Now almost 9,000 West Virginians are losing health coverage. All right, let's debate this. Jonathan Collegio is a Republican strategist and director of communications for the Super PAC American Crossroads. Marjorie Clifton is a former consultant to the Obama campaign and CEO of Clifton Consulting. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank uh, you. Marjorie, Thank I want to start with you. So Republicans have combed through old videotapes of Democrats in addition to Barack Obama and found places where Democratic politicians promised their constituents if you like your health plan you can keep your health plan and now they're using their words against them. It sounds like an effective strategy to me. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, the Republicans with the, the, st the stalemate we have on immigration reform, with the government shutdown where they caught a lot of flack, this Obamacare policy is absolutely somewhere where they can potentially play out and see what, what the appetite is for, uh, for the public. The implementation, no question, no one would say it's been a giant success. It's been a failure. And there have been certain messaging attached to ACA that I would say is problematic. Uh, case in point, you know, you can keep your health care plan. Jonathan, the target yeah. seems ripe today. W w will it be this ripe in 11 months? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, even today, just a public policy polling, which is that left-wing polling company, they show the, Air the Arkansas Senate race, the Republican up by eight points there now. In the Michigan Senate race, the Republican is up by two points. That, we didn't even think that that was a competitive race last week. There's been a massive shift. Uh, Senator Landrieu in, uh, in Louisiana has seen her approval rating dip by 10 points over the last month, only due to Obamacare. These numbers are, are flatlining or going down in every single district across the country. I don't see how they, how they can make it back even, even after but, a year. But Jonathan, I want to stick with you for just one second, and Marjorie, then I'll give you a chance, because isn't it interesting that what Republicans are doing is going after the broken promise? They're not going after the tenets of the no. bill itself, because chances are by next year, people may be enjoying some of the benefits mm -hmm. of Obamacare, the pre-existing conditions. So they're going after the messaging. I don't know about that, Allison. I mean, I, I see a series of shoes that are going to drop over the next year. In December tw on December 23rd, we're going to find out who loses their insurance this next year because they didn't sign up in time. In January, we're going to find out who loses their doctors. In April, we're going to find out who's fined by the new mandate tax. The big kicker is next summer when all of the insurance companies have to re-up their rates. And if the young people don't go into the system to subsidize the rates and all these new benefits, all of these rates are going to shoot up right before the election. I think that this has disaster written all over it for the Mar Democrats. Marjorie does it, and then you throw in the employer mandate next fall as well? Well, that's a lot of speculation about what the fallout's going to be, because it could be that we actually do see a lot of the benefits that have been mapped out. And it is a big misnomer to say that a lot of people are going to be losing insurance under their employers. Most major employers have health care plans right now that hold those 10 tenants in place. So those are not going to be the people who are going to see the most change. It's going to be individuals, and it's going to be small businesses. But again, if you look at the whole of the system, every one of us, insurance or not, we're at risk of the health care system as a whole failing. So the ACA really is something that is designed, hopefully, to benefit the whole of the American public. And the question is, you know, in a year, in two years, in 2016, what is the memory of the American public going to look like, and how is this all going to play out? Uh, Jonathan, what do you think the chances are that Republicans regain the Senate in the midterms? Well, I mean, the, the big thing to look at is that congressional ballot test question are asked whether or not they support a generic Republican or a Democrat. That has swung 10 points toward the Republicans over the last month. It's uh, something Charlie Cook called unprecedented, unprecedented for, the, for the ballot test to move that quickly toward the other side. The question is whether or not it can be kept up. I think that there's right. enough in the law, there are enough shoes to drop that can keep that momentum up for the Republicans. Okay, guys, yeah. uh, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Marjorie, thanks. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks to you as well. We'll Thank see you in guys. time who's right. Uh, but it's going to be um, it's going to be a year of stories surrounding that law. Thank you, Bill. All right, one.